from 22 days left from Christmas to boys basketball. We've got, got the scoop. scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions. Today is Tuesday, December 5, 2017, which means 18 more days for my birthday and 24 more for yours. Uh, yes, can't wait till we're 17. And 22 more days for till Christmas. Yes, but remember, we still have finals and all that. Yeah, yeah. But I'm showing Christmas spirit. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think it's too early for that, Justin? It's never too early. I don't know. I don't blame you. It's... It's our birthday month, and then Christmas is almost <laughs> here. <laughs> Let's watch a video to get you guys in the Christmas spirit. That's the hat, and then it'll fly up in just a second. Okay, let's see. 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 Okay, I got that on video. Uh oh. <laughs> hey. Ooh, look at that too. <laughs> <today. laughs> oh, look! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. You want me to get dad? No. Tim Burr. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome for those slabs. Now into some serious news, Centurions, finals is approaching 14 days, exactly 2 weeks, and it's never too late to ask for help. Tutors will be happy to help you study for your finals and give you studying tips. Tutoring is held in the library on Monday from 1 to 4 and Tuesday through Friday from 3 to 6. Don't forget that the Centurion Club is also here to help you guys. The Centurion Club is in room 317 every day after school providing snacks and to help students. Moving on into less serious news. <laughs> Here in the studio, we have a few members of the drama with a quick announcement. Hi guys, we're here to announce on behalf of Century's Drama. Drama's gonna be holding Century's Got Talent. And we're looking for students to participate. The top three winners will even win prizes. But before you win those prizes, you'll have to audition. There's gonna be three days that you can audition from. The first is this Friday after school. The second option is Friday, December 15th. And the last option is Monday, December 18th. Do you have to audition all three days? No, you only have to pick one of the dates to audition. All auditions will be held on the TCC. If you're interested in auditioning, go to Miss Shepherd's room to get a registration form in room 5205. And we, we look, look forward to seeing, seeing you there. Thank you, thank you, ladies. Jasmine, do you remember the Macy's parade last year? 
Um, not really. Why? Well, one of the centurions, Douglas Torres, was at the par parade representing Santa Ana. Really? Yeah, now he's going to be marching in the Desfile de las Rosas next year in 2018 in January. Great way to prove the Latino stereotype wrong. Here we have a video of that. Francisco Ugalde nos cuenta cómo su talento lo sigue colocando en eventos de prestigio. Esta es la banda de honor del desfile de las rosas. En ella participan estudiantes elegidos del sur de California, totalizando 230 miembros de impresionante talento. Y Douglas Torres, a sus 17 años y estudiante de la preparatoria Century en Santana, es uno de ellos porque fue aceptado para participar con ella el primero de enero del 2018. No tenía dudas, no tenía confianza que sí iba a poder llegar a tocar para este grupo, pero el momento que me dijeron, sentí una gran alegría para, para mí, pues para mi escuela. Además de tocar la mayoría de los instrumentos de viento, sabe tocar también el piano, resultado del apoyo que sus padres le brindaron. Desde niño siempre comenzó tocando flauta y oía yo sonar eh, su primer instrumento que tocó y sentí que traía talento para la para la música. Originarios de Cojutepec, El Salvador, sus padres trabajaron duro para sacar a la familia adelante y hoy se muestran satisfechos. Es un orgullo para mí porque no esperaba yo de él eso de, de la música porque en mi familia no hay ninguno que que toque algún instrumento. Pero este logro sirve a Douglas para demostrar que los latinos no son ni remotamente lo que algunos piensan que son. <risa> Esos ataques políticos que nos hicieron, um, honestamente para, para mí ofendieron, pero también me dieron una esperanza para hacer más y me hizo pucharme para no ser lo que <risa> ellos dijeron, ¿verdad? Por eso alienta a otros jóvenes con talento musical a alcanzar el año que entra la misma meta que él. Los requisitos son ser estudiantes y tener la seguridad que los sueños sí se hacen realidad. La meta de este jovencito es la de estudiar música y consagrarse como artista, pero por lo pronto enfocarse en el desfile de las rosas para el que está ensayando durante todo el mes de diciembre. Francisco Ugalde, Noticias Univisión 34. And here we have him in the studio. Hello, Centurions. I'm right here with Douglas Torres. And Douglas, how do you feel about playing in the Rosebury? Oh, for me, it's a, it's a mix of emotions. I feel really proud that I'm able to represent this community, but I'm really excited. It's, these experiences are really great. I mean, as a musician, it helps me grow and improve, so it's a really exciting moment. What are your plans after the Rose Parade? Uh, so it's, it gets pretty busy after the Rose Parade. Uh, I'll be auditioning a lot of places. I'm thinking of a lot of universities in Boston, New York, Chicago. So let's see how it goes. What's your reason behind playing music? Uh, well, for me, it's a passion. It's a passion to play music and we'll also share it to others. I mean, in this community, there's places where music's strong, but there's places where it isn't. And I love encouraging other students to continue doing it. And a uh, quick reminder, there's a concert this Thursday at 7. So if you guys could go out there and support, that'd mean a lot. All right, thank you. Back to the studio. Hey, uh, I'm even jealous, man. Same. Hey, Russell, I think we have more pictures of when yeah. students making Air Canyon last Saturday. We sure do, but I don't understand something. What's that? Um, what's, was, uh, aren't they supposed to be studying and working on their homework during the win? They did, for the first part. Then after lunch in Miss Park room, they usually do something science-y. This last time they made canyons, air canyons. Oh yeah, because Miss Park is also the science club advisor. I hear that UCI engineering students help out a lot with that club, so they blew air at each other. Not just air, they used air pressure to shoot paper balls at each other. It made a mess all over the classroom. Uh, and Miss Park was okay with that? She must have been. She was there after all. My friend was there too. And she told me that Miss Park made popcorn for them to snack on while they study. And Miss Park showed them how to make some more popcorn too. S'mores? Like popcorn? Like, well, that's different. Was it good? My friend said it was delicious. Oh, uh, well, there's something else I don't understand. What's that? <laughs> it seems like 
they are having fun, but it's one of the photos. It looks like there's one of the paper balls goes flying into Ignacio's mouth. Does it look like? Does it look like we too? Well, ew. Well, we will have to ask him. So, so, what science activity do you think the science club is going to do this Saturday? <laughs> I hear next week is finals week, so UCI, so the mentors can make it. So instead of science club, is going to decorate holiday cookies. Yeah, Miss Park and food. You know she's always trying to feed us. But I'm, I'm sure you still have to bring homework to work on if you got to win this Saturday. Well, duh. You still have to study breaks, and then it's probably when they'll do the cookie decorations. Hey, our final week is coming up pretty soon, too. So I must just go to the win this Saturday. If there's cookies, I'm going with you. Okay then. The Rotary Interact Club is holding a December lunch meeting today during both lunches in room 429. Please get your lunch and hurry to the meeting. They will discuss the holiday gift bag packing event coming up next week and applications to attend the Interact Leadership Camp in the spring. So hurry and don't miss out. Shall we move on into sports? Yes, we shall. Today, our varsity girls basketball team will be having a tournament at Ocean View. So if you see them around, make sure to wish them good luck. Yeah, I know my girls are going to do great today. Good luck, girls. And also, our varsity boys basketball team is having a game at somewhere. <laughs> if you see them around, just wish them good luck, too. My blessing goes out to all the athletes. And remember, stay red and pre-order your earbug. 20, wait, 20 done deposit 85 without ASB card and 80 with ASB card. Unfortunately, we don't have the hashtag This Is Century video. But if you want to be part of the This Is Century segment, make sure to put in your Instagram hashtag This Is Century. Make Century look good when you, when you see something good happen at Century. Use the hashtag. Anyways, that's all we got for now. But remember, nothing is worth it. If you aren't happy, bye. <laughs>